Hello everybody, welcome back to Workshop. So, I've got a little bit of progress update on the power hammer. Uh, it's getting really close now and I'm so super pumped and jazzed about this, getting really excited. Let me show it there. I'm going to go ahead and flip it around, talk a little bit about some of the features. And, uh, you know, this makes power hammer update number eight. We're getting really super close. Uh, keep in mind, after I actually do get the thing finished up, I have a lot of drawing that I have to do. So I will have some drawing time before the plans are available. And like I said, I'll have the whole build video and all that to edit down and do as well. But I plan on getting that all done, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. And real quick, before I flip you around, thank you for everybody who uh, sent prayers my way and everything about my wisdom teeth. Uh, today's a Monday. Um, I had it just this last Friday, all four of my wisdom teeth pulled. And if you're watching in the future, this is late, better late than never. But anyways, you know, it's just an update for my subscribers. Uh, healing's going well. Everything's healing up. Uh, still sore jaw. Feel like a football team kicked me in the mouth. But, you know, hey, that's going to be expected when the doctor's yanked four of your teeth. So, anyways, I'll flip it around. And we'll talk about the hammer more, less about Roy's mouth. Look it up. Here we are. So we've got all of our stuff in here and together for the most part. We got all the guts assembled, pulley on, cobalt bearings, clevis hooked up. That's just a temporary spacing. Nothing real special about this. Motor's not wired in yet or even bolted down. Um, so really the main things that I have left to do is essentially I have to put in my foot treadle. I have to put in the idler pulley that's going to pull the tension here. And yeah, I'm getting really close here. This is really close to being finished up. The other thing I have to do is make my mounting brackets that will bolt this to the shop floor there and there. And yeah, we're getting really close. One thing I'll notate that I had to do here real quick was wedge this. Now, there is always a little bit of gap in this design to begin with, just like so. So this way, this would travel nice and easy. Like, you can design this with a little less, a little more. Depends on what you want. But I suggest that you design it with a little bit of slop in this area so you can put some drive some wedges to make sure that you align your dies perfectly for hammering with a project build like this unless you are a perfect machinist and you're building it out of a rigid material like steel where you can control perfect squareness and perpendicular uh, things when you're building something out of a live piece of like wood or something of that nature it's going to shrink or I mean it's going to swell with high moisture days it's going to shrink with dry moisture days and uh, really be affected by the climates of your shop you know things of that nature if you got an open air workshop it's going to be pretty uh, apt to move and adjust and mess with so it's nice to have the option for the fine tunement of the adjustments with just some simple steel wedges driven in helps align the dies up perfectly and things of that nature once again you can make it as perfect as you like I'm just notating that out here uh, for you but yeah here it is this is what it's coming up and shaping up like so far I am very impressed with this hammer it's gonna be a real fun to watch this thing work in a big way I'm gonna go ahead and well take off this belt here but even with hand pressure I can go ahead and rotate that right on around if I don't tip it over first so as you can see the spring is working I need to grease the bearings good So as you can tell, that spring's got quite a bit of spring in it and bounce. I may end up putting that secondary leaf on there if that is too much bounce to it. 
We don't want to have too much reverberating bounce. But then again, you have to remember it's going to be hitting a piece of material, so that'll absorb some of that whipping action. But like I said, we'll get into that when we do all the setup and things of that nature. But this is the main portion. You get this part done, the rest of it's really going to come along, like mounting of the motor and wiring. And, you know, it won't be too long now, guys and gals, before we start flipping this switch and getting it to run. So, anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I'm definitely happy to take and get this done. And once again, thank you all to everyone for your thoughts and prayers while I'm in recovery mode for my mouth. Thank you all for watching this video. God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one.